Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jolie and this is my husband, Justin. And we're full-time resellers. And guys, we just found the ultimate score. Look at these gorgeous trees. So this one apparently is the best out of the bunch. I'm gonna own it up. It's called like the lava something. We'll put it on the screen, the exact name of it. Um, yeah, I've never seen one like it. It's it's like 22 inches tall, something like that. Um, it has all like yellowish orange pegs in it. It has like a star shaped base that lights up. This style tree, depending, there's different obviously paint options and colors and stuff. The most expensive I saw was $349. The cheapest I saw was $199. So like amazing. And then we also have like the basic Atlantic mold with the base. Um, it has birds and um, like the little bulbs on it with the star on the top in the green. And then Justin has the same version, but painted in white, also the Atlantic mold there. And we got these today at an estate sale for $10 a piece. So this one hopefully will sell for two, maybe two fifty. Hoping at least a hundred. I have to do more research on it. Maybe 125 ish for each of those trees. And we paid only $30 for it. And then Justin's going to show you. He also got at this sale. I got this transformer. It looks like it could be complete. It has little missiles in it. And it has like the pamphlet. And obviously and in the original box. Original box, yeah. It was eleven ninety nine. I doesn't say what store it was in it though. If these are new sealed, it was over a thousand dollars for them. <laughs> like insane. But it should go for over a hundred dollars. We have to see exactly how much, depending on if it's one hundred percent complete or not. But yeah, crazy. So he paid a dollar for that. So thirty one dollars for all of this stuff. Like crazy. So in today's video, we're going to go over all of the sales we've had for like, I don't know, they were last maybe four or five days. I really don't even know how many it was. Um, we actually filmed them all already, but we just got this haul and we wanted to share it. So we decided to put it at the beginning of the video. So These Adriana Goldschmied jeans sold in less than 24 hours. I listed them for $29.99. Someone sent a $25 offer and I gladly took it. We paid $2.67 at the bins and we made a $15.65 profit. This was an Amanda Smith women's blazer. Um, it was new with tags. I got it in the free church hall, so I had nothing into it. So when someone sent me a $13.99 offer, I was excited to move it and we made an $11.08 profit. These Foxcroft uh, shirts, I bought... Um, I found a few of them in probably like a two month period and some sold for really good money and super fast, but this one's been hanging on for a while. It might've had a small flaw in it. I feel like I might've, if I'm remembering correctly, um, it sold for $18 and 69 cents. I paid 79 cents for it at the bins and we made a $14 and 28 cent profit. And I would still definitely pick this brand up. This was a banana Republic Italian Merino wool sweater. Um, I, this one person just kept sending me offers over and over again, and they started out super low. Finally, when they sent me a $25 offer, I was just like, I only paid $1.45 for the sweater, just move it. So we made a $19.26 profit. Another super fast sale, these Patagonia Kids snow pants. Um, they had a little bit of grass stain on the knee. I tried to get it out, but I failed. Still listed them for $39.99, and they sold for full price. We paid $154, and we made a $27.28 profit. And this men's L.L. Bean, it was like a quilted pullover sweatshirt. I specifically looked up this size, because it was a bigger size than XXL, in like quilted sweatshirt, and saw that they did decently. Um, I listed it, and within like 10 minutes, someone sent me a lower offer, and I said, no, I'm sorry, I'm not accepting offers that low at this time. And then they came back like four days later and sent me a slightly higher offer. So I was like, fine, I will take it. It was $19. We paid $234 at the bins, and we made an $11.81 profit. 
we found these wrestling, bodybuilding, weightlifting, whatever you want to call them, shoes um, at the bins. They were new with tags and they were a men's size 15, which I know is hard to find. So um, I listed them for $62.99 and someone sent me a $50 offer and they're going to Australia. So with shipping, they paid $119 total. We um, paid $3.21 by weight and I made a $37.60 profit on those. Then we have this beaker keychain. You might have seen me talk about it in the last video, um, but in case you didn't see the last video, I figured I'd mention it on here. I paid 11 cents for this at the bins a while ago and I figured it would sell around Christmas time and it sold for $49.99 with my 5% coupon, we made a $38.29 profit on a six inch keychain. Beaker stuff, in my experience, sells for a lot of money because it, they just don't make that much of it. So definitely, if you find something beaker, look it up. All right, this, it was um, like a model vehicle. It was Heinz I'm in Pittsburgh where, you know, Heinz ketchup and products are from um so i found these trucks at the bin it's bins it was 66 cents it sold for 12 dollars, and it actually went local um and we made an eight dollar and 84 cent profit these sass walking shoes we have had forever these might be the oldest shoes in our inventory we bought them ages and ages ago for full price at goodwill for 6.99 Finally, they sold on an offer for $21.99. We made a $10.75 profit, and I am so glad to see them go. These Banana Republic um, shorts, I showed these in a very recent haul video. They sold really quickly. Um, someone sent me a $20 offer on them. I only paid $0.96 cents at the bins, so we made a $13.88 profit. Last weekend, I bought a ton of Corel dishes. I bought a huge set of the rosemary dishes and then a huge set of just the winter frost white ones. I put them in all different lots um, and listed them all. So this was my first lot to sell four berry bowls. So they're the really tiny little bowls. I have tons more of them, but this first lot sold um, for $15 and 19 cents with my coupon. Um, I assigned a buy cost of $1.82 to each of the lots I listed, so we made a $9.09 .09 profit. We have had this starter um, Alabama Crimson Tide infant jacket for a long time in our inventory, so it was marked down in the clearance sale. Justin picked it up at a garage sale for $1, sold for $12.74, and we made an $8.88 profit. This is another clearance item, um, these G-Star raw denim low-rise jeans. Uh, definitely wouldn't pick these up again. We paid $163 at the bins. They sold for $15, and we made an $8.12 profit. This L.L. Bean um, long sleeve, we only got it because it was an XL tall shirt. Also in clearance, yeah, I had a bunch of clearance stuff sell all at around the same time. We bought it for $1.94 at the bin, sold for $11.59, and we made a $6.82 profit. This Jingle Hallmark Jingle Pal Snowman, I love selling these. Last year, I had 13 at Christmas time, like that I listed probably like two months before Christmas, and we sold them all really quickly. This year, I think I only have three, but this is my first one to sell. I paid $2 for it, uh, sold for $24.99, and we made a $15.79 profit. This was a cookbook from our local um, PBS station. Did have damage, as you can see, on the front of the counter. Counter? Try that again. On the front of the cover, which I noted in the listing. It still sold for $16.99, and since I have nothing into it, I made a $12.01 profit. And this Duluth Trading Company purse, you might remember I showed it in a haul video. I was really excited about this purse. And then when I went to list it, I realized it had a flaw here. I can show you in the photos right here. It was coming unstitched on the back. I'm sure it could easily be fixed, but I just didn't want to take the time to do it. So I just listed it low for $18.99 and it's sold um, for full price. I had $2.65 into it, and we made an $11.46 profit. We purchased a large lot of this Lennox Esquire um, silverware, 
at the bins. I put it into all different size lots and listed it. And this is the first lot to sell. We paid 62 cents for these three forks. Um, they sold for $19.99 and we made a $14.31 profit. These were just little die cast vehicles from the show Yellowstone. Um, I knew they wouldn't be huge money makers, but they were only 75 cents for the two of them. They were easy to ship, easy to photograph. They sold for $12.99 and we made an $8.52 profit. More clearance clothes. As I said, we sold a lot over like a, a few day period. Um, this Chico's like jacket was picked up on 99 cent day. It sold for $11.72 and we made a $6.75 profit. One person bought two of my Avon um, porcelain nativity scene figures. I talked about in a previous video, Justin went like two weekends ago and bought a whole nativity set that was from Avon. They they dated from 1981 to 1984. Um, I guess you could add different pieces on every single year. So I decided that it definitely seemed way more profitable just to part the pieces out. So we've sold a couple so far. So this person bought a camel and this little shepherd boy with a lamb. And our, we had a dollar eighty four into each piece because he paid twenty two dollars for I can't remember twelve or thirteen pieces. You do the math and figure it out. But we made a sixteen dollar and ten cent profit on those two. And then these were old in our sale. Also, these Gap high rise. Um, they were like women's tall. They were very long pants. Um, they were picked up on 99 cent day. They sold for $14.57 and we made a $9.38 profit. I sold both, I guess I could give you a spoiler, of the Jim Shore Halloween Witch pieces. This piece went to a very nice viewer named Rose. She collects Jim Shore and she actually told me that she has met him and had him signed some of her pieces. So she bought this witch for $71.99. I only paid $0.52 cents for it and we made a $53.82 profit. And again, thank you so, so much, Rose, for your purchase. This Chico's black and white... Um, it was kind of like a jacket blazer kind of thing. This was also a clearance item. Um, it sold for $11.72. We had $1.69 into it. We made a $6.05 profit. I sold my second set of these Corel Christmas dishes. I bought four 20 piece place, like 20 piece sets, so 16 place settings total. And this is my second one to sell. It sold for full price of $79.99. And I had $13.75 into it. And we made a $44.11 profit. Another piece of the Avon um, Nativity set, except this piece was the most valuable one out of the lot. This little angel sold for $42.99 and we made a $28.79 profit. Then we sold the other weird Belgian cookie pizzel iron thingy that doesn't have the, you know, segregated holes. So we found two of these in a row, even though I had never seen anything like it. Um, this one sold for $59.99. We paid $5.61 for it at the bins, and we made a $43.61 profit. We sold these three um, Christmas ornament angels. You've probably seen me. I've shown them in numerous videos. I bought like over 50 of these ornaments, and we've been slowly selling them now that we're getting close to the holidays. I had $1.17 into these three. They sold for $18.99 and we made a $12.07 profit. I've talked about it numerous times, but I always pick up women's dress pants if they're new with tags and I'm getting them at either bins prices or on 99 cent day. So these Dana Buckman ones sold for $17.84. We paid 99 cents and we made a $12.03 profit. This was a really cute set I picked up on 99 cent day. Um, lush linen blend. Um, it was a blazer with shorts and a cool like lime green color. Um, I've had it listed for a little while. It was a small size. Um, and I do believe, I think it had a little flaw on it. Um, it ended up selling for $19.99 and we made a $14.93 profit. 
this was an exciting sale. I sold Fenton Santa. Um, I showed this in a haul video. I picked it up for $10 at a church sale and it sold for $90 and we made a $62.31 profit. This was a Torrid 4X sweater that I grabbed on 99 cent day. We've had it forever. It was in the clearance, sold for $11.99 and we made a $7.21 profit. And I sold my second Hermes Paris silk necktie. The first one sold for $85, but that was a more desirable one because it had the H's all over it, like the brand logo. This one was just red squares, but it still sold for $50, and we only paid $0.20 cents for it, and we made a $42.32 profit. This men's Peter Millar Summer Comfort shirt. As long as I can find Peter Millar for you know just like a doll a little a dollar or maybe a smidgen over in its summer comfort i will pick it up especially i like that this was a bigger size uh sold for 22 dollars 49 we paid one dollar for it at the bins and we made a 17 dollar 54 cent profit i showed in a haul video just a couple videos ago i had bought three karen scott all the size medium christmas sweaters and someone purchased two of them they got this green one with the reindeer and then this red one with the snowman they messaged me and asked if i would combine shipping and i told them i would refund the difference after i packaged their order which i did so they purchased one sweater for 20.99 and the other one for 21.99 and I paid $115 for one and $101 for the other, and when all was said and done, we made a $28.79 profit, and those sold really quickly. Speaking of something else that sold very quickly, I showed this in the haul video. It was the singing lamp post. Um, I probably could have held out for a little bit more money, but I listed for $49.99. They sent me like a $35 offer. I went back with $45. They came back with $42.99, and I was like, all right, we'll just make it happen. Um, we paid $3.15 for it at the bins, and we made a $27.15 profit. And these women's Talbots, they were like pull-on, almost like stretch pants um, in a size 3X. They were just recently purchased. I paid $2 for them at the bins. They sold on an offer for $15, and we made an $8.68 profit. These Magnum Stealth boots also sold really quickly. Um, we got them on 99 cent day. They weren't worth tons, but for 99 cents, I figured we would pick them up. They sold for $19.99 and we made a $15.24 profit. And we sold more of the Christmas Story China. Um, I've mentioned it numerous times, but we bought a whole tub full of these Christmas dishes for $20 at a garage sale and I lotted them up and we've been making our way through them. Um, this sold for $29.69. We had $2 into it and we made a $20.15 profit. This Alfani tunic top was picked up on 99 cent day. I only picked it up because it was new with tags, but it sold very quickly for $21.24 and we made a $16.43 profit. This piece was only picked up because it was plus size. It's a Talbot's like striped mock turtleneck. Um, also grabbed on 99 cent day, sold for $19.99 and we made a $13.77 profit. This bra brand was new to me, L-O, L-O, me, Matilda Underwire Plunge Bra. I'm not going to try to figure out how to say it. Justin brought me this home from the bins. He paid only 37 cents for it. It was in excellent condition. It sold for full price of $22.99. We made a $16.53 profit. This Adriana Papel blouse, it was like a ruffle neckline. Um, it buttoned in the back, um, black and white polka dot blouse, was purchased on 99 cent day. It sold on an offer for $16.99 and we made a $12.75 profit. Justin got a bunch of Legos free and a free pickup and there were these stands in it for minifigures so I wasn't sure if they had any value but it seemed like it was worth listing since it was literally just snapping a few pictures. Um, they ended up selling on an offer for $9, and we made a $6.95 profit. And these women, Croft & Borrow, XXL, um, 
They were like a micro corduroy, kind of soft, almost velvety feeling pants. I grabbed these at a church sale where all clothes were a dollar a piece. Um, it sold on an offer for $15 and we made a $9.89 profit. And here is the other Jim Shore Witch. This actually was the first one to sell. It sold within 24 hours of me listing it. Um, it sold for $59.99. I paid $0.52 cents and we made a $44.17 profit. I grabbed these airy cargo jogger pants at the bins purely because of the style. They had like a paper bag waist. They were kind of baggy. Um, we've had them for a while and I listed them for $22.99 and I can't tell you how many $10 offers I got on them. But finally, someone sent a $20 offer and I gladly accepted we paid $1.15 and we made a $15.32 profit. This woman's Pima Cotton Talbot's tee was just plain black. I would have never bought this if it was like a size like extra small through extra large. I only got it because it was a 2X and because I found it on 99 cent day. It sold on an offer for $15 and we made an $11.15 profit. This cute pilgrims couple, I showed it in a haul video. I knew I wouldn't make tons of money off of it, but they were from 1984, still new in the package, and I needed to find them a new home. I only paid 15 cents for them at the bins. They sold for $13.59, and we made a $10.63 profit. This was a new-to-me brand. It's called Straight Down um, was the brand. It was like a ribbed velour, like golf kind of pullover. Um, we've had it forever. It was... One of our oldest items in the inventory, we paid $2.25 for it at the bins. It sold for $14.99 and we made a $6.91 profit and I definitely won't pick that brand up again. And these vintage Cabbage Patch shoes, I got in like a, at a bag sale at a church, tons of Cabbage Patch shoes. Plus I bought a huge tub of like 15 Cabbage Patch dolls, tons of outfits and accessories and stuff for I think... 10 or 12 dollars at a church sale so i'm not even sure which group this came out of they sold for 12.74 though and we made a nine out nine dollar and 23 cent profit this yankee candle um it was like a base to put your jar candle on and then like a shade for it we got it free in that church hall it sold for 19.99 and we made a 13 dollar and 84 cent profit guys i sold the Griswold Waffle Iron. And I did sell it for less than I wanted to, but there's a reason for it. So um, I was hoping to get like $250 for it. And someone sent me an offer for $200. And when I saw that this person was in a different country, I decided to send back $225 and see what happened. And they accepted. So I accepted $25 less. But because this is a international sale and it went through eBay's international program if they want to return it if it gets lost if there are any problems eBay handles it all and I'm not responsible and I love the fact that once this got to Illinois and it was accepted that it was no longer in my hands and eBay had to take the blame for everything so I decided to take the $25 less and just send it off so we paid $7.48 for it at the bins, and we made a $184.30 profit. This Betty Crocker cookbook, I pick these up anytime I see them as long as they're cheap enough. I did pay more for this than I intended. I got it at a garage sale, and she didn't have a price on it, and I was honestly thinking it was going to be like a dollar. And when I got up there, she asked $3 for it, but I was like... There really wasn't anything else there that I wanted, and I was like, well, we'll just get it. But it still sold for $24.99, and we made a $13.95 profit. This sweatshirt we have had forever. Um, it was in my very, very clearance. I think this was like the second oldest clothing item in our store. It sold for $5.09. We didn't even have, we got it for free. So thankfully we didn't have any money into it, but this is the lowest profit of the week at $2.46. All right. And another Avon piece. This is obviously Mary. Um, she sold for $14, and as I said, we have $1.84 into each piece, so we made a $10.42 profit. These Joyce Myers, they were like Christian, um, like self-help, motivational CD set. This all came free in that church hall. 
So I decided they didn't really have any value being listed individual, but I would put them up as a big lot. Um, someone offered me $39 and I happily accepted. We made a $28.46 profit. Another clearance item, this jam collection, kind of like faux wrap cardigan, sold for $11.99. We paid $0.99 cents and we made a $6.14 profit. Guys, I thought these were never going to sell. I thought they were going to be in my inventory for the rest of my life. I had two sets of these. The last set sold last Christmas and sold very quickly after being listed. And this set has just sat here forever. I got them for free, so I had no money into them. And they sold for $18.99 and we made a $14.13 profit. These Cloth Cheek Santa, I sold a couple, I think I showed probably in the previous haul video. Um, and I think you might see some more today being sold. I had, I think, huh, how many total? I had 10 to 12 total. I can't remember. But um, I got them in a bag sale at a church. And so we paid 50 cents for each of them. This one sold for $18.69 and we made a $12.76 profit. And I sold another cookbook, um, also from the PBS local station. Um, this was in a free estate clean-out. It sold for $14.99, and we made a $9.88 profit. I sound like a broken record, but another piece to the Avon nativity scene. This was like the stable crush. It sold uh, for $19.99. We had $1.84 into it, and we made a $12.10 profit. As you can see, parting out some nativity sets can make you so much more money than selling it as a whole because people are looking for replacement pieces. All right, this Light Bright, this sold so fast. Um, it was from 1990. I paid $5 for it at the bins and it sold for full price of $39.99 and we made a $23.60 profits. But I wanna caution you, do not go out and buy every old Light Bright you see. This one had extra value because the box was in pristine condition. It came with the instructions and it had a good amount of unused like sheets, as you can see in the picture like of the house. And I actually like showed, I laid out all of the sheets and showed them. And then the ones that were used, I showed them those. All right, another cloth cheek possible dream Santa. This one sold for $13. As I said, we paid 50 cents for them. And we made an $8.04 profit. And this Torrid, um, it was like a chenille 3X sweater. It was purchased on 99 cent day. It sold for $18.69 and we made a $14.17 profit. All right, over to Poshmark. The first thing we sold were these Franco Sardo. They were like chunky sole um, loafers. They sold for $20. We purchased them on 99 cent day and we made a $15.01 profit. We sold one of the Cloth Teak Possible Dream Santas on Poshmark. He was on a scooter. It sold for $18. We had 50 cents into it and we made a $13.90 profit. And this Carla Mancini bag, I showed this in a haul video. It was my first time ever picking up this brand, but when I touched this purse at the bins, it just felt heavyweight, like luxurious. So I decided to, to take a chance on it. We paid $3.96. It sold for $42 and we made a $29.64 profit. This Vineyard Vines quarter zip has been in my inventory forever. Um, someone sent me a $15 order on Poshmark. I had paid $1.90 for it at the bins, and I would definitely not purchase it again. And we made a $10.10 profit. I found this Everlane caftan dress at... Um, St. Vincent de Paul on 99 cent day. It sold for $20 and we made a $15.01 profit. These Fry shoes were just shown in a haul video. Um, we got them on 99 cent day, which is just amazing. They sold for $42 and we made a $32.61 profit. I found this gorgeous bigger size XXL Walt Disney World hoodie at the bins. It was just so nice. Like Mickey, here, I'll show you the close up. His face was like 
textured. You can see it in there. Um, it sold for $29. We paid $2.71 and we made a $20.42 profit. Justin picked up this um, Jordan Jumpman boys hoodie, new with tags. He got it on the day where we went thrifting all day because he had his veterans discount. Um, he paid 98 cents for it. It sold for $20 and we made a $15.02 profit. I bought this Nightmare Before Christmas teapot at the Goodwill for full price. Um, we paid, I do believe it was $15.99 for it, something around there. Um, it was just sitting on the shelf when we were standing in line at 99 cent day. They had just put it out and I just loved it so much. So it ended up selling on Poshmark for $70, but obviously we had a very high cost of goods on it. And when all was said and done, we made four cents short of a $40 profit. We picked these Nike Dunks up at the bins. Um, we paid $2.72 for them. They sold for $60 and we made a $45.28 profit. Okay, and here are the weights that sold. There are two 10-pound plates sold for $20, two 5-pounds for $10, two 10-pound Biller plates sold for $21, uh, two 5-pound Dan Lurie plates sold for $16, two 25-pound York plates for $57, two 5-pound Grit plates for $12, two 5-pound Chrome plates for $17.99, two 10 pound plates for $23.99. These two 44 pound DP plates, I showed how I packed these up in a previous video. They sold for $88. These four 10 pound plates sold for 44. Two 13.2 pound DP plates for 29. Two more 25 pound York plates for $63.99. Four two and a half pound York plates for seventeen fifty. Two five pound plates for thirteen. There are four two and a half pound plates for fourteen eighty seven, and two five pound plates for fourteen ninety nine. Okay, so the profit on all, all the weights came to two twenty nine thirty five, and right now I'm just sorting out some packaging that we picked up. We have people save packaging and then we will just go through it and use what we can. There are a lot of boxes here, like these small boxes we definitely need. And just in general, we've been using a lot of more boxes with selling more hard goods. And this paper, like the packing paper, I just go through and flatten out so that I use most of it for weights. So it's a good way for us to pick stuff up. We don't ever like pay for any of this kind of stuff and really just be reusing it. So thank you all for watching. And if you're not subscribed, we really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe uh, and hit the thumbs up and leave any comments if you have any. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.